Hey guys, Donut here, and welcome back to the Amber Mine. Today, I'll be covering the next installment of our Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park series. Last episode, Spike covered the different dinosaurs of Jurassic Park, which featured species such as Allosaurus fragilis, Metriacanthosaurus parkeri, and Giganotosaurus carolinae. For today's episode, I'll be reviewing the duck-billed dinosaurs of the Jurassic Park franchise, the Ornithopoda clade. Ornithopoda is a clade of ornithischian dinosaurs called ornithopods that started out as small, bipedal running grazers and grew in size and numbers until they became one of the most successful groups of herbivores in the Cretaceous world, dominating the North American land. Their major evolutionary advantage was the progressive development of a chewing apparatus that became the most sophisticated ever developed by a non-avian dinosaur, rivaling that of modern mammals such as the domestic cow. However, they are more commonly known as the duck-billed dinosaurs. This week, we are going to start off with a dinosaur that was meant to be highlighted in The Lost World. It can still be seen on a sheet in Dr. Berg's hand in the Packy scene. The Corythosaurus Casuarius was the real dinosaur that Roland was describing when he said, Look for the Pompadour, Elvis. This helmeted lizard is a genus of hadrosaur duck-billed dinosaurs from the companion stage of the late Cretaceous epoch. It made its way to the big screen in Jurassic Park 3 when the crew ran into a herd of them to hide from the Velociraptor. Our first special mention, the Dryosaurus Altus, made its first appearance in Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, delighting its audience ever since. It has most recently made an appearance in the Jurassic World Evolution series. This tiny dinosaur's name means Tree Lizard, and it lived in the late Jurassic period, truly fitting to join the roster of tiny dinos seen on screen someday. The next species, Edmontosaurus Senectans, has a rather gruesome entrance into the franchise. It first shows up, or should we say, just its skull shows up, in the Rex nest in the Lost World, giving evidence to InGen having cloned it at some point before abandoning Isla Sorna during the events of Hurricane Clarissa in 1994. Its name meaning Connected Lizard from Edmonton, often colloquially and historically known as the Anatosaurus, meaning duck lizard, is a species of flat-headed sorlophene, hadrosaur dinosaurs from the late Maastrichtian age at the very end of the Cretaceous period, in what is now Western North America. It also was an attraction in Jurassic World, as well as makes an appearance in the Jurassic World Evolution series in the form of its sister species, Edmontosaurus regalis. Hadrosaurus folkii, for showing up in the original Jurassic Park novel in 1989, makes its debut in the series as a species that was showcased on Isla Nublar's Jurassic World. It was also meant to show up in the Lost World, but it is unknown why its inclusion was cut. Its name literally means Bulky Lizard, is a genus of hadrosaurid ornithopod dinosaurs that lived in North America during the late Cretaceous period in what is now the Woodbury Formation about 78 to 80 million years ago. The next dinosaur to showcase is one of the oldest known to science, the Iguanodon bernisartensis. Despite being the longest known herbivores, it took the longest to join the franchise, only appearing in a cameo role in Jurassic World Dominion in the background of the Biosyn Valley scenes. Its name means Iguana Tooth, and it lived during the Barimian Age to early Aptian Ages of the early Cretaceous in Belgium, Germany, England, and Spain, between about 126 and 122 million years ago. Dr. Alan Grant helped discover our next dinosaur in the Jurassic Universe before moving on to the Snake Water location, looking for an elusive North American dromaeosaur, the Myasaura Piblosaurio. This species was also meant to show up probably alongside Corythosaurus and Hadrosaurus, in the Lost World. Myasaura, meaning good mother, the feminine form of Saurus, is a large herbivorous sorlophene, Hadrosaurid, 
duck-billed dinosaur genus that lived in the area currently covered by the state of Montana in the province of Alberta, Canada, in the Upper Cretaceous period about 76.7 million years ago. Peoplosaurum is the state fossil of Montana. These next two are so exclusively only found on the Jurassic World holoscape, and both are currently believed to have only been included for teaching purposes. However, Neponosaurus sacralinensis, despite only showing up in name only, still earns a place in the Jurassic franchise. Its name means Japanese lizard. It is a Lambiosaurian hadrosaur from sediments in the Yezo group. In Sinigorsk, on the island of Sakhalin, which was part of Japan at the time of the species classification. The other species to exclusively show up on the Jurassic World holoscape also shows up on the cruelty poster. Lesothosaurus diagnosticus. The name means lizard from Lesotho. The genus has only one valid species, Lesothosaurus diagnosticus. Lesothosaurus is one of the most completely known early ornithischians, based on numerous skull and postcranial fossils from the Upper Elliot Formation. It had a simpler tooth and jaw anatomy than later ornithischians, and may have been omnivorous in some parts of the year. This next species only shows up in the nursery at the Isla Adventura, Contosaurus intrepidus. It is currently unknown if it was planned for the park or if it was only there for teaching purposes, like the Jurassic World holoscape. Contosaurus is a genus of basal two-legged plant-eating Elasmarian ornithischian dinosaur. In Australia, about 125 to 112 million years ago, when the continent was still partly south of the Antarctic Circle. It was described in 1999 after a find near Inverloch and named after Qantas, the Australian airline. Oranosaurus nigeriensis first stalked its way into the franchise in Camp Cretaceous, scaring the campers at one of the many docks dotted around Isla Nublar, tricking the audience into thinking as a fan favorite a lot more recognizable sailed species, Spinosaurus. Oranosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous period. The type specimen is known as Oranosaurus nigeriensis, and it lived from between 125 to 113 million years ago, in what is now present-day Niger. Its name comes from the Arabic for courage, with the second part indicating the country of its discovery. This next one is another one of the total of four honorable mentions. This one was hard to figure out its place on the phylogenetic tree, which if you want a refresher on what that is, check out our video on it. The link will be in the description below. This next one is technically not part of the tree of Ornithopoda, but it's related close enough and we wouldn't know how else to showcase the Orodromius Bly otherwise. This species has only shown up in the Lost World game for the PlayStation 1 back in 1997. These specimens were discovered alongside the Myasaura and a Troodon by Dr. Alan Grant in 1977 at a place called Egg Mountain, near Chateau, Montana. Our second honorable mention is the Mutabarosaurus landoni. This species currently shows up in the Jurassic World Evolution series as well as some collectible cards created for Jurassic Park 3. Mutabarosaurus was a genus of herbivorous iguanodontian ornithopod dinosaur, which lived in what is now northeastern Australia, sometime between 112 and 103 million years ago, during the early Cretaceous period. It has been recovered in some analyses as a member of the iguanodontian clade Rhabdodontomorpha, it was named after Mutabura, the site in Queensland, Australia, where it was found. The dinosaur was selected from 12 candidates to become the official fossil emblem of the state of Queensland. The next is the third honorable mention, the Allura Titan Aharensis. This species so far only shows up in the Jurassic World Evolution series. Allura Titan was a monotypic genus of Lambiosaurian duck-billed dinosaur containing a single species having lived from the late Cretaceous era. 
Now for the less honorable mention, before we get to the most famous member of this family for the franchise, this one is Centaurosaurus spinorhinus, another species so far only showing up in the Jurassic World Evolution series. Centaurosaurus, meaning Centau lizard, is a genus of hadrosaur dinosaur from China. Now, for the one everyone has been waiting for, the one we are sure everyone is wondering where it is, the Parasaurolophus walkeri, arguably the most famous of the dinosaurs in the entire hadrosaurine clade. It doesn't need an introduction, but it has shown up in every single film of the franchise, every single spin-off, and every single game as well. First showing up on the banks of the lake in the glorious Welcome to Jurassic Park scene that touched our hearts to the Park is Open scene from Jurassic World. If the filmmakers wanted to remind us that dinosaurs are beautiful, these species are more than likely included. This species also shows up on Isla Adventura as the very dinosaur that knocks you off course, sending you into carnivore country. Parasaurolophus, meaning beside crested lizard, in reference to the Sorolophus, is a genus of hadrosaur duck-billed dinosaur that lived in what is now western North America during the late Cretaceous period. They were able to move as a biped and a quadruped. Two species show up in the Jurassic franchise, the more commonly known Parasaurolophus walkeri, and the lesser known Parasaurolophus cratochrysatus. The cratochrysatus shows up in, so far, only two places, one of which is the mural in the original Jurassic Park Visitor Center as well as the Jurassic World ride in Universal Studios Beijing, showing us that it was housed in the Land of Giants attraction. And that concludes this entry into our Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park series. Thank you so much for watching this video and keep an eye out for this series next installment as we take a close look into the skies and are reminded of when reptiles ruled the skies with the Pterosaurs of Jurassic Park. Hey Ember Miners, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them.